Hey, what's up guys? This is Evan. I am the proud owner of this 2018 M3 competition. And I've had it for just over a year. It's uh, a hero of mine. I've had a few cars that have been a hero of mine. And that's really what today's theme is, is why you should own your hero. Let me first give you a very quick overview of this car. Um, you probably know it well, there's a million videos about it. But essentially you're looking at a 2018 M3 competition. So it's got a little more horsepower. Um, I'm gonna show you under the hood for a second. This has got the glorious S55 engine. It's an inline six cylinder, twin turbo, closed deck, fantastic piece of machinery. Uh, this engine is just phenomenal. And I guess, you know, when I think about it, I really do kind of start with the engine with my cars. So uh, I got to really want that engine in order to want the car and there's a little bit of a formula that I've kind of followed over the years with my cars which I'll get into so let's uh enough looking at the engine let's get in there and go for a very fun drive so first thing I'll say is I'll probably open the windows at some point I just don't want it to be too windy and yes, I have these covered up because you know what? My quick disclaimer, point blank, is I'm a data two. I'm growing this channel and it takes a little bit of time to kind of edit that properly. So rather than deal with that, rather get more videos up for you guys. And I just rather have more time with my family than deal with that. So. If you don't like my theme, then I apologize in advance. But anyway, let's get going. So we're going to put the car actually in M2 mode, which I have everything dialed up, frankly. So I've got Sport Plus, Sport Plus, Sport Plus, and I've got the transmission into its third setting, which is very fast. Why should we own our heroes? Well, let me first get you started with a little background. So I, I kind of take pride, I'll just say this as one more quick disclaimer. I kind of take pride in preparing for my videos, but not scripting them and just talking with facts and emotion and knowledge that I happen to have. Um, so, you know, that's what this is. And so I'll go back to when I was 16 years old and um, that Tesla's gonna be right in front of us, so I'm gonna give some space. Oh good, he's turning. All right. So, anyway, why should you own your hero? Well, when I was 16, I had a wall that had every dream car that I wanted. There were a few exotics, but I was also realistic. I didn't come from extreme wealth. I knew I had to earn my own way in this world. And I was prepared to do so. And I knew that I should only dream of cars that are attainable in my 20s or 30s. I wasn't even thinking of my 40s. Yes, I'm, I'm 42 now. But I wasn't even thinking of my 40s, to be honest. I was really just thinking of... I was really just thinking of my 20s and 30s. And so what did I have on this wall? Well, I'll tell you what I had on this wall. I had a Z32. I had the MK4 Supra. I had RX-7s, the rotary ones from the 90s. This is 1996, by the way. I had the E36 M3. And those really were the four cars that I felt were cool enough, fast enough, looked good enough, handled well enough, and really and really motivated me to succeed in life. I did not 
find muscle cars as attractive. I did not find Corvettes as attractive. It's very curvy over here. So we are going to have a little fun in a minute. But anyway, I didn't find any of that very attractive. So, anyway, these were my heroes, right? And, you know, with that being said, what did I do? Eventually, I got a Z32 in my early 20s. I could not really afford it. And um, I just said to myself, okay, what are we going to do here? I sold it, got another Z32, owned that for 10 years, loved the car, had to have two children, two amazing children, I'm happily married, I'm one of the luck, I'm luckiest man alive, I love my family to death, uh, decided that it was time to get rid of the 300ZX because it was kind of silly, I didn't get enough drives in, I'm getting more drives in now that my children are older, but I wasn't getting a lot of drives in, so I decided to get this M3 last year when my son was first born. He's uh, just over one now. And my daughter is almost five. So, I'm going to create some space between me and this Lexus. And we're going to keep heading out. So anyway, here I am with this wonderful M3. And now let me tell you why it's so great. First off, I think it's one of the best looking M3s ever. Right? So to own a car that you literally can do that with as you just saw and you can you know dream of how um, great looking it is right you know I look back at it every time I, I had to have it in this Yas Marina blue and I agree that the color definitely adds a, a good amount of um, attraction to it but this car is gorgeous in any any matter and that's something that, you know, I think is, you know, part of the formula when you want to own your hero. Because owning your hero means that you can afford it. It means that you can enjoy it. It means that you really are satisfied owning it. That you're not dreaming of owning other cars. There are some guys that I know in the car scene, car enthusiasts, that literally get a different car almost every year, if not every year. And they own like six or eight or ten. Some own... 10 or 15 cars. I know I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I'm really not. And, you know, these people, like, I, God bless them, you know, they, they're so into the car scene, they, they, they are drivers, they are track guys, they, they, they live and breathe cars, just as much as I do, if not more. And it's amazing. But, like, are they really satisfied? Do they really, really rip on their cars? Of course they do. But do they, like, intimately know them as well as someone who owns their hero? I guess that's my question for you. I don't know if they do. Because, like, I know some of them do. I know a few people who do, okay? But I also know some people who don't. And I think, it, I think that if you can afford one amazing sports car and that you cherish it, then that makes you a, a deeper enthusiast, at least to that one car. Because you just know all the, you try to know all the facts about it. You try to learn things that make it quirky, that make it different, and you understand your purchasing decision over and over again. You think it through because you know in life you don't have that many ch chances to own sports cars. So you really do think through your decision over and over again. And it's funny because that kind of brings me to my next point, which is that when you own a car that is your hero, and you do get a chance to cherish it you also think of you also think about it a lot you know like when I when I was go, going through my process of acquiring this car man I it was like anytime I had a free moment I was looking at m3s or I was looking you know look not just looking for prices just looking at pictures of them watching videos of it which kind of brings me to another point and then I'll go back to some more reasons why I own this so you know, one of the things I want to point out is that, like, there's so many reviews of this car. But I'm going to give you my favorite car personality, and that is Chris Harris. 
And Chris Harris said, and I'll put the link in the description in case you really want to watch it. Chris Harris said this is a superb M3. He doesn't know why people are down on it. It's the reason he, it makes a great justification for turbocharging. And he also said that at the time, this was the best M3 he ever driven. So I feel the same way. I, I like the G80. I understand why BMW went in that direction in some ways. But I still think this car to me is a more true M3 because it's the right size. It's not too big. You know, I feel like with the new M M3, you're going into M5 territory. And I just feel like this is, this is more for me. And that's just my opinion. So why do I own this car? What's so great about it? Well, it handles phenomenally well. It's got one of the stiffest chassis. And I'll quote Chris Harris again. He said, you can oversteer. It will oversteer for you anywhere you want to go. That the oversteer on this car is phenomenal. And so this car really will. The chassis will go anywhere you want it to go. Guys, I will try to create more space and make this drive, by the way, a little more exciting. But in case I don't, this is what I'm dealing with. You know, I, I try to find time in the morning when it's, um, you know, less traffic and safer to drive hard. But today I didn't. So just bear with me. If I create space, I will do it. Um, okay. So phenomenal engine. Gorgeous looks, amazing handling. What else? Frankly, I'm a guy who likes heritage in cars sometimes. Uh, usually. Like, I owned a Z and I loved the story of the 300ZX and the, the, actually the original 240Z. Um, how, how it came from Japan and Mr. K, you know, brought it over and, you know, understood the American car buyer and it was you know a uh, co competitor with the Jaguar so it was, it was it's such an amazing story and Mr. K is you know one of my car heroes per se so I think what makes this car so cool is also it has I've covered this in other videos it has about 80 maybe even more different individual colors I mean it's crazy how many times I've seen this car in different colors and couldn't believe it. I counted, I believe, I think 15 different blues alone. Uh, so I would say that, you know, it just comes with so many different combinations, so many different things that make it so cool. Uh, and it's a great platform if you want to modify it, which I actually don't because I'm a little old for that. And that's what, you know, that's what I think about this car. You could grow into this car, right? This is, you know, there's no enthusiast who should really put their nose up at you and say that's not a true enthusiast car or whatever car enthusiasts do i mean we all know some of the stuff that you know people say about other people's cars or just you know the way that they feel about them or think about them that's not one of these cars right this this is a, a machine that pretty much everybody can admire and respect even if you don't like the configuration you don't like the inline six it's just a machine i mean if i were to fly if i were to pedal it right now if i were to floor it I'd be doing 120 down this road right now. That's how fast this car is. And that's why I'm not gonna hit it. So anyway, I like going fast around turns. To me, that's, you know, the key thing here is go fast around turns, go fast where it's safe. You know, like right here, we got a turn going 40. Well, you know, we're not gonna do 40. So, phenomenal chassis will get your adrenaline going and is also a great daily driver. Like, obviously, you could you, you know that M car, our M cars have modes and you could dial it up, dial it down. I put winter tires on this thing. I drove the kids to preschool. I drove it a few times during the winter, far and bad weather. Uh, no snow, but just rain and ice, icy temperatures. Not a problem. Yes the transmission options the dct is one of the fastest shifting transmissions out there period if, if you want to go fast and you want to also shift you, could, you know you got your paddle shifters right here you could totally do that with this car you don't have to have a manual and you do get the advantage of how fast the dct is right so it's really cool i mean i've never experienced a car that shifts faster than this thing so, DCT is a great option, but...
but if you don't go DCT and you go manual, you ruin your own gears. And that's also a great option. I strongly considered it. I almost bought the same car, uh, 2017 model with actually 30,000 miles. I got this one with 38. I'm on my way home and I'm thinking about what I said and I realize that I didn't give enough depth on a few things. So I'm gonna cover it right now. Um, we're gonna start with the looks and I didn't go into the depth of how you have a gorgeous wide body car and it's so sculpted. It's very athletic, the, the look of it. Very few cars in my assessment are so artistic in the way that they're put together. And the great thing about this BMW is that it's not screaming like, like a Ferrari, look at me with huge vents or like a Lamborghini as an example, but just that you have something that is so um, unique. People go up to that and they know it's not your usual BMW. They know it's, a, it's something special. Actually, when I was just about to shoot this video, the woman that um, saw me shooting it in her by her house said to me, my BMW doesn't look like that. So it's, it's true. It's just such a good looking car. And you could really enjoy, if you take a close look at it, how sculpted it is across everywhere and how dimensional it is. So that's one thing. And then another thing I wanted to mention, and I know it's obvious, but I'm gonna point it out. There are very few sports sedans that give you this kind of performance and reliability and also give you um, this, this kind of multi-use, functional use, right? So you can obviously take your family in it, like I mentioned, or you could just go on the Nürburgring and be competitive with 85 to 95% of the cars in this universe. So <laughs> how do you beat that, right? Like I wanted GTR type performance from this car that I was gonna get, but not necessarily as fast as a GTR. I didn't have to, the, the GTR wasn't my benchmark. It was just that if I'm driving with GTRs and I'm driving with cars of that elk, that I can keep up with it. And that I'm not gonna you know, completely get destroyed on the track or on club days where I'm going driving on back roads. That was the thought. And I feel like this car really handles that aspect that I just mentioned in spades. It's a extremely well, high performing machine that I think you have to have if you're looking for all the combinations of aspects that I mentioned. This is my closing, I feel like I've made a lot of my points already. And this guy is definitely going kind of slow. So I'll close with this. Phenomenal car, you should own your hero if you can afford it. It should be something you can enjoy and respect. Uh, there's channels out there, there's people out there, car enthusiasts out there who finance themselves or put themselves in debt. That's not what this should be about. Being a car enthusiast should be about when you have a free moment, you can truly enjoy the car, you're not worried about it. You know, you should care about it, but you enjoy it and you know that this is a machine that is meant to be driven. So with that said, I encourage you guys to own your hero and to make videos, go to track days, hang out with enthusiasts, make friends, do whatever it is that makes you happy and own your hero.